Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, uh, I have decided that I would like to finish a couple projects with you all on camera. Um, so I have been working on these two diamond painting coasters for um, a couple weeks now and I'm ready to complete this one and then continue to work on this one and then start a whole new project. So um, this diamond painting coaster I purchased off of Amazon and I pretty much have completed this part, this part, and all this. I just need to finish the A, like this, um, the A's. And then I have a couple um, F's here. Uh, those are the little symbols. So I just have a few more diamonds I need to place and I will be completely done with this coaster. And then um, eventually I will need, I wanna start on this one, but this will be my last coaster for this coaster set. Um, but I have completed this coaster, this coaster, this coaster, and this coaster. I don't know if I said earlier, but I purchased these off of Timu and I love them. Um, they're wood, they're sturdy, they're sticky, they are worth the money. Um, and I purchased, I didn't, I bought these off a discount. I didn't purchase them at the regular price. I, I got a, a significant discount, so this was definitely worth it. And then I love how it, they all fit nicely in this little holder. So I'm excited to complete um, this set of coasters. And then eventually, if, um, if we have time, um, I want to finish this or do this or complete this coaster with you on camera. I've already completed this coaster. I completed this within like an, an hour or maybe less. Um, I just kind of sat down and powered through and I finished this one. I really love this. I love these coasters because look, look how different they are compared to. They're a little more shiny to the landscape coasters. Um, and so I have a, a bunch more well, I have three more that I still need to work on. So I still need to work on this one, this one. I purchased these coasters from Amazon and unfortunately they're not as good as the Timu coasters. These coasters are plastic and then they don't come with like the backing. So I'd have to peel off this green and stick it to the coaster like this. And then it would have this kind of artificial backing uh, this cork backing and I don't think it's as it's not as nice as the Timu coasters because um, for one they're plastic they're not made of wood um, but um, so it's a little disappointing but I think overall like the coaster is pretty I really like the diamonds the um, the sticky area like the canvas where the adhesive is is really sticky so that's nice like the diamonds do stick onto the adhesive i love this one i think this is one of my favorite ones so ultimately they're pretty would i purchase this again i mean i don't know maybe i would maybe at a discount i would but i still i really like the wood, sturdy wood that timu um sells so yes yeah, so i'm gonna be working on that but before I dive into these coasters. Um, I want to do some organization. Eventually, I would love to start a, um, new coasters, and here's a new coaster. So, um, I purchased these coasters off of Timu as well, and these are cupcakes. Um, they're different types of cupcakes, and these are wood as well. So, I'm gonna start. I want to put the diamonds in this diamond painting storage box. And while I am doing some organi organizing the diamonds here on camera, I want to talk about how I discovered diamond painting um, and how I discovered this hobby. So if you're interested in watching and listening to my journey, stay tuned. Okay, so here, first off, I'm going to open the bag of diamonds. like so, and then the long one, really long. Wow, look how long that is. I'm gonna start cutting them. 
But before I do that, I'm just gonna open my box. I purchased this box. It's a diamond painting storage box from Hobby Lobby. This was $1.99, the $1.99 here. Um, and so I purchased three of them and I couldn't believe how inexpensive these boxes are. Um, they're so nice. I like to put a lot of my projects, I like to use these boxes for a lot of my projects and put the diamonds in a lot of these boxes. Um, and then obviously like I reuse them as well. Like once I'm done with like a project, something like this, I will take all of the diamonds that I did not use and like put them um, in a separate container all together and then I'm ready to use this storage bin for a whole new project. So yeah, I love them. Um, if you're looking for something like this, like I said, I, I purchased it at Hobby Lobby and it was $1.99. Okay, let me just make sure. All right, I'm gonna start here. <clears throat> and then, so here we go. So yeah, um, how I just, I wanted to share how I discovered this hobby of diamond painting. I absolutely have fallen in love with diamond painting and so I wanted to share like how I discovered it. So um, I'm currently in my mid 30s. So growing up as a young child, I always had hobbies, but I never really stuck to any hobbies. Um, I kind of, I would discover a hobby that I liked and then I would get my fill of the hobby and then I'd become bored of it and then I would move on to the next hobby and then so I tried a lot of different types of hobbies, but I never really stuck with one hobby um, for a significant time. You know, growing up, my goal was always to be social. So, you know, in high school, I just kind of wanted to make friends and, and be around my friends. And then same with college, it was like getting my education for sure was like my number one priority. And then um, being social and having fun and like having a life. And so I'd never, I wasn't, so I never really focus on hobbies and I'm not an artistic person. That's kind of why my, that's why my YouTube name is Artsy Amateur because I'm not artistic, unfortunately. Um, and so, because I have a love for the arts, but unfortunately I'm just not an artistic person and I really wish I was. So um, yeah, I kind of was building my life, building my career. Um, and the last couple years, I would say the last, at least starting from 2020, my life has significantly slowed down. And now I have time to kind of go back and like rediscover hobbies and have hobbies and and be more creative or try different arts and, and really kind of lean into being creative. And so um, I discovered YouTube. I used to watch YouTube just for like educational purposes, purposes excuse me. I never watched it for entertainment, but, um, 20, 2020 is when I discovered it as entertainment. And, um, so I started to watch a lot of YouTube and then eventually one day I walked into Target and I saw, I was walking into the, um, kids art section for some reason, like I never go into that section, but one day I just decided to go into that section and I saw paint, paint, um, paint by numbers kits. And I was blown away. I had never seen, this was like 2022 actually. This was very recently, like this was like last year. I had never seen paint by numbers kits. Um, and I was blown away and I was like, oh my gosh, I could create a whole YouTube channel on paint by numbers kits and like have this kit and do an unboxing and then actually do the, the um, the painting, cause you know, and this is gonna be my new hobby and YouTube's gonna be my new hobby and it's all gonna come together and all work. And I was super excited. So I started, I bought a lot of paint by numbers kits and then I went on. So I'm, now I'm gonna cut these packets and then start um, pouring the diamonds into these containers. And what I like to do is I like to cut long ways, cut the, cut this long ways and then go like this. Oops. And then I'm going to cut out the one and put the one in the container so I know. That. January is when I first bought my, one. well, January is when I bought my first diamond painting kit and it was like a partial kit so it wasn't a full kit because as a new beginner or as a beginner I was like I don't think I can handle a, an entire um 
kit. So I think I'm gonna take it slow and try a partial kit, and that's what I did. Um, I bought a partial one, and <laughs> it was slow going. I so um, it was very slow going. I um, took my time. Sometimes I would work on it. Sometimes I wouldn't. I like the bug didn't bite me right away. It, it felt very overwhelming, and it just. At the, I have a very, I have a demanding job, so I would go to work and then I'd come home and I was tired and it was like, I would look at my diamond painting and um, I was like, I have no energy to to do this tonight, I will do it this weekend. Um, and then I would put it off and I'd put it off and I'd put it off. Um, and eventually, so that was in January and then like literally last month, um, it was, I think it was in, so that was like, actually it wasn't January, it was more around February is when I bought the kit. So February, March, April, four months later, May is when I was like, okay, um, I'm gonna sit down and finish this and I'm gonna get it done. And that's what I did. I took a Sunday, I said, I am going to finish this partial diamond, this canvas, um, and, because I'm tired of looking at it. I'm tired of it sitting here not being complete. Um, so, uh, yeah, last month is when I finished my first um, canvas and I, it's, it was exciting. And that's when the diamond painting bug bit. So I am going to continue to work on putting these diamonds in this container. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna transition and um, work on the two coasters. Okay, all done. So, I don't think I've ever have a, had a kit where they were missing diamonds, um, which is quite odd, but uh, I have one, two, three, no four, five, six, seven, and then it starts at A and it goes through L. So, yeah, and then I have there must be a lot of um, red symbols because I have a lot of red diamonds. So that's that. Okay, so on to the next project, which like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna work on um, these two coasters. So this coaster, I'm gonna put this to the side. This coaster I'm pretty much like I'm practically done so I'm gonna start I'm gonna look here and find
on zero. Okay, that's all the A's. And then there's a couple F's. Oh no, forgot this whole line right here. Never mind. It's good I didn't put these diamonds away. Here we go. Gosh, there's no better feeling than putting the last diamond on on the canvas, on the adhesive sticky stuff. It is not, there is no better feeling when like really putting the last diamond in the row. Okay, so I have a few F's here and then this one will be complete. Yeah, I didn't think this was gonna take me a whole lot of time. I, I knew that this was gonna be very quick. Okay, there we go. It's done, it's complete. I am so happy, I love this. This really turned out to be really pretty. I'm excited to display these. So when you diamond paint, question, when you diamond paint, are you a diamond painter that kind of follows the pattern? Do you follow, you know, with your diamonds, do you follow the pattern or are you kind of like a random placer? I am a random placer. I get bored very, not easily, but I eventually do get bored with kind of just following the same line and the same, I guess the same line. I, I like to kind of mix it up and do random just to 
kind of break up the the monotony I guess if that's the right correct word but kind of just break up like the same old thing um, I kind of like to do random placing but then eventually I'm like okay this is too much random and I just need to follow the pattern Getting her done, getting her almost done. Okay, I'm coming down to the finish line. Okay, so down is here. Okay, I think this is gonna be the, the last
Okay, here we go. Done with the beautiful sky. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I am going to continue to work on this um, off camera. Um, and then I will show you what the completed looks, the completed cam or the completed um, coaster looks like eventually in one of my other videos. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. This is why I love diamond painting because like this will eventually, you know, come to life. It will look absolutely gorgeous. So um, the the outcome and, and the final product is going to look great. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like, subscribe, share, do all those things. Do all the things. That would be great. And then come back and hang out with me again. So um, I'll see you next time. Keep shining.